Mr. Shikaka himself. Oh, here we go. Uh, where's the? Do you have a banner for that one? We're gonna need that. <laughs> oh God. Okay, Taika Waititi. Uh, fuck. He is. He is not to be mentioned by his government name. This going forward on this podcast, brother. His I'm name is Shikaka. Brother, I'm not gonna hold. That's you. it. I don't, know, I don't know if Taika Waititi is his government name. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. His name is Shikaka from here on out. He's about to go in hiding. All right. Um, so I, Leo, actually, I, you, you weren't, you weren't on yet, but I actually have the clip and, yes, um, I'm, I'm going to try to not butcher, uh, this dude's name because he's I had to pull it from TikTok, but he, he's, yeah. he's pretty good. I, I hope it's a Reese underscore underscore Quiones. Quiones. Great Quiones. takes. Great Quiones. comic book takes. Very um, he's got pretty good. I, I put a link for his, uh, the original TikTok in the description. You guys check him out. He also does nerdy content. Um, so he actually has a clip of what Taika Waititi said in regards to Thor. We all heard it, and you know we had to talk about it. Uh, so let's check it out. Hopefully, if it plays, maybe. Oh, let's listen to Taika Waititi, you know, the director, writer of Thor Ragnarok and Thor Love and Thunder crap all over Thor for about a minute and a half. Marvel is so incredible at doing at doing their, their thing. I mean, they've got a product that is just incredible it, it has made this industry as twice as healthy as it's ever been but i think you one should and does and needs to adhere to a certain um parameters <laughs> parameters of like because that audience expects certain boxes to be checked you know what i did had no interest in doing one of those films it wasn't on my sort of like my whole plan of like my career as an auteur but i was poor and I just had a second child, and mm. Um, mm. and I thought, you know what? This would be a great opportunity to feed these children. Or do what my dad did. Go and, ahead, continue. Right, okay. <laughs> well, this, I'm still doing my answer. All right. No, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, right, John. Hang on. Hang yeah. on. Okay, yeah. so then uh, they called and they said, do you want to do this? And Thor was probably, let's face it, it was probably like the least popular franchise. It was the fr I, I'd never read Thor comics when I was a kid. That was, that was the comic I picked up and was like, oh. <laughs> and then uh and then i thought and, I, and then i just research on it and i read one a full one full yep comic yeah all still 18 pages or however yep. long they are sure um 18 pages. i was still baffled by this character as a, and <laughs> i thought the only thing that i could bring was that i'm you know, it's character it's like just looking at thor as a character in the you know, he's like a billionaire lives in space and yeah. <laughs> you know he's got he's just yeah. he looks ridiculous and yeah. that was sort of the end it was like well let's just highlight that he's like a rich kid who, and he's, I, i'd pitch that he's a bit like you and me jason that he hates germs and the truth shall set you free oh all right, <laughs> all right. so um, oh, wait and I, me... I just want to, i just want to make sure i repronounce his name because torian pointed out it's quinones want to make sure i say it right so aris quinones uh, check him out on on uh, TikTok. He's he's really cool. I watch a bunch of his stuff. So, uh, and the link for him will be in the description. I'm just um, I'm just gonna now, start. Go. I'm just gonna <laughs> start because I, I know you guys are just gonna take it. I'll just let you guys take it after. Man, listen, we all trying to get paid out here. Okay, we all got right. kids to feed and working two jobs. Some of us, and we we got we got bills to pay. I understand that, but like maybe don't go on like a podcast after you just like effed up an MCU thing and say like, ah, I just did it to get paid. And I read 18 pages of Thor and he's not really a popular character. Maybe those aren't things you say. Okay. You guys go now. You want to go Leo? You could go, bro. You I, go if you want. Unless you want me. Okay. Ah, all right. You. This is my whole take on this. And also another TikToker that's really well known King and Queen Lion. He had a really good take on he it. Was yeah, he, he had a really good fucking take on it. So it's I kind of agree more with King and Queen Lion. Uh Marvel. No, not even hey, fucking Marvel. Not even Marvel. You're taking this route, huh? Okay, I got you. I didn't know you Marvel. Do me a favor. Don't hire any more of these directors. Directors. Fuck them. Fuck them. You don't need them. You haven't don't you you don't need a director to do nothing. And if you're going to fucking hire somebody, make sure they know the research. You have one of the biggest fucking fan bases in the 
fucking universe. In the planet Earth, you have one of the biggest fan bases. Any one of these TikTokers, podcasters, will give you a 10 times better direction and directing than you can hire one of these Hollywood assholes that because they're your fucking friend. And they will make you a billion dollar movie out of Thor, the least popular fucking the, the the amount of stupid shit that he said in this fucking interview, it's like you can't go, you can't what what is you what are you trying to prove? You did a shitty job. Now you you're fucking talking shit about the the job that you did when you fucked up in the first place. You fucked up. You made a shitty movie. Everybody's coming at you for making a said shitty movie. Cause obviously we knew you didn't read the fucking content of fucking uh, uh gore. Because look at the movie that you produce. One of the best storyline that Thor has is Gore the God Butcher, and you fucked that up. But meanwhile, he's he's a space billionaire now. So you're gonna just a uh, fucking take away all the Greek um Greek mythology. You're just gonna take away all that away. You're gonna shit on a whole fucking culture because. You did a shitty job, and everybody's judging you on your shitty job. So maybe not. Don't go into something that you want to do for money, and you deal with people with honor and priorities. I, no, honor and fucking some some sense of ability that I don't want to fuck up. Like Uman Vellani, the first actress to actually write in the fucking comic books because she's a fucking fan. And a nerd. And a fucking nerd. Marvel, take fucking hint. You hire these guys, they do a shit, they give you one half uh, half decent movie, and they give you a good or they give you a good movie, and then they fucking after you say they you put them back in again because you trusted him and you let it go, and look what the fuck we get. We get Zeus Kurtzian, we get an R. Kelly fucking gore. So what the fuck are we talking about? R. Kelly gore. Oh god. Prove me fucking wrong. <laughs> Guys sitting in the in the fucking middle of a fucking uh, spider with kids all around them sitting crisscross applesauce and playing with a fucking doll. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry your jokes did not fucking land, Mr. Shikaka. <laughs> you use a joke from 1994. <laughs> I you use a joke from 1994, bro. 1994, you're using jokes from. <laughs> oh, Come God. on, man. Um, yeah, I mean, I Fuck. mean, like, listen, I'm, I'm, I, I love where Leo went with it because uh, I honestly was gonna echo similar things. Um, you know, I, I did watch King Queen Lions uh, take on it, and I agree wholeheartedly. I think when Marvel hires people, um. I understand that at the time you're looking for the most creative person, maybe, or somebody who you think is going to do a good job. And listen, I'm not going to just sit here and and I could sit here and just slander Taika Waititi. That, that's fine, Chikaka. Sorry, but um, <laughs> but he really did do a good job with Ragnarok. So I could understand bringing him back for Love and Thunder. But I think the creativity just went off the rails. And if, and honestly, blame Taika uh, Chikaka. Blame Chikaka if you want. But also, you have to place some of the blame on Kevin Feige as well because he oversaw the project. And even if he didn't have time, no, he, he oversaw. Let that shit, he he oversaw, let that shit roll out. He, he, he oversaw Thor Ragnarok. But he, but he, he because has to approve the tr- Thor: the tr- Love and Thunder to go out to theaters, bro. The truth is, he didn't I, have I, I understand. That. I get your point <laughs> on that. But also, you have to understand, he didn't write fucking Thor. Uh, he didn't write fucking uh, uh, what's this called? Uh, Ragnarok. Ragnarok. He didn't. Yeah. No, I know he didn't. He didn't write. He wrote. He wrote. He wrote. He wrote. He, wrote, he directed. And he put his little fucking punchlines inside of it. Yeah, he put his mm-hmm. jokes in it. And that he. He's. Chicago's all about the creativity. That's his angle with everything. And honestly, where's like the even, creativity? Even, even us on this, I can already see what's going to happen because I did see a lot of people in comment sections of certain things saying, "Oh, well, you guys didn't understand. That's just. Uh, that's just Taika Waititi's humor. He's joking. Blah blah blah." He's not really joking when he said yeah. that he took it for the money. Like he's joking. Yeah, he's, he's serious. He's a jokey personality, but he's serious when he said he did it for the money and there right. was no passion behind it. And when he says he ate, he read eighteen pages of a comic. Mm-hmm. I fucking believe him because Thor is the- not a space billionaire. That's not who he is. Oh, and by the way, this is coming from the fan in me. 
Thor not being one of the most popular characters in fucking Marvel. That's why he's been written since 19 fucking 60 ish, whatever the fucking age it came out, and he's still going to this day. Not fucking popular. Fucking. I hope he steps on a Lego and then falls and bites rocks on the fucking way down. Mm -hmm. This fucking guy is a trash bag, bro. Don't fucking talk about the character like that when he's still being... By the way, the newest iteration that we have in the comics is strong enough to take down characters like fucking Galactus. He's fucking stronger than symbiotes and shit. Don't tell me Thor's not fucking popular. How about... It? Really? I'm going to steal a line from Leo here. How about if you actually read a fucking book, one mm -hmm. from the past... 70 fucking years of Thor comics and see how strong he's gotten mm -hmm. instead of just fucking saying, oh, he's a space <laughs> billionaire who doesn't like germs. What the fuck are you even talking about? Mm -hmm. Like, this dude is just delusional on a lot of shit that he says. What, what I find to be wild is that, like, you remember, like, let's go before the MCU was the MCU. Like, Kevin Feige was a guy working on the X-Men movie when Brian Singer was fucking directing the movie. What was Kevin Feige doing to all the actors when Brian Singer said, I don't want comic books on my set? He was literally sneaking comic books to some of these actors so they can understand the people they're playing. Exactly. And for, for someone like Kevin Feige to do something like that and then hire a guy like this is wildly fucking ridiculous. Ridiculous. And Beyond it just, ridiculous. And it just goes to show you how stretched thin this guy probably was and you know hopefully isn't going to be in the future but maybe still is it shows that there was obviously no high level people watching what was going on while this movie was being made and there was also a lot of rumors out there that you know Chicago was on set like kind of just goofing around not really caring like there there were a lot of comments made like that so listen that's that's the product we got so to leo's point Vet your fucking people, give them the proper research and the freedom to do said research, and give us a good fucking product. That's and the it. thing is, the one thing that I also have to say, you have the content. All you have to say is fucking action and let the people work. What are you directing? Okay, so obviously you didn't write Ragnarok, that's why it came out good. And there's bullshit jokes that you put in there. Okay, some hit, some didn't. So I I can guarantee you the whole new master scene, that's all Taika Waititi shit. Yep. Because that scene didn't even make sense in that whole fucking movie. And they cleverly Sorry. threw the 6ix9ine after new master's name. You thought we didn't see it, but we heard it. Thank you. So this is what you have. This is what you produce out of Ragnarok. You, you say that you knocked it out the park and you want all the fame and all the glory for it. And once they, uh, 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 Kevin Feige lets you go off the reins, look what you produce. Shit. Oh, by the way, he's getting a Star Wars movie potentially. Have fun with that. Oh, no. They, after uh, this, he's, not, he's not working for no, the No, I'm pretty sure he's getting a Star Wars trilogy. No, he wants his old fucking uh, <laughs> Star Wars trilogy. They already told him no, and this is why he's be, he's acting the way he's been acting. That was on the news like two weeks ago, and I already said he wanted to do a Jabba the Hutt story for Star Wars. Cool. I want. I want <laughs> Jabba cool. the fucking Hutt sounds sounds great. <laughs> Interesting. Um, all right, we have a bunch of comments on this that I want to catch up on. Make sure we get to everybody. So. Torian said, now that he said what he said, it makes all the sense with how lackluster, how many of these Thor films were. Well, I'm, I'm going to listen. He didn't direct the first two Thor movies. That was, mm. Those were not him. Like, he's Ragnarok and Love and Thunder. The first two Thor movies, whoever made those, I, I'm not, not going to lie to you. I don't remember the director off the top of my head. But whoever made the one with the Dark Elves just literally needs to not. I thought the first one was okay. Like, listen, the first, yeah, one, the first was, one was okay. It First wasn't was like amazing, movie. but it was good. It was all it, right. It, it, it was a solid enough Marvel movie. It's what we needed to get us to the Avengers. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. The MCU needs to hire Leo to work on some of these films. As much as a comic head as you are, you'd be praised like Keith Lee out here. <laughs> I'm gonna go watch the Marvels. Let's watch it. Rate it Let's one to ten. It. Rate it one to ten. <laughs> I will literally. I will literally. I just picked up this comic book. Let's read it and rate it one to ten. Jay said, fine, you did it for the money. The fact that you didn't even take it seriously it's volumes about how seriously you take your brand. Fucking facts. What about Taika Waititi, the brand? This is how you talk about the stuff that you worked on? 
Come on, like I can't with this fucking guy anymore, bro. This shit is horrible. Get ready don't to hire, be broke. <laughs> don't, don't hire Jeff Loveness either. He said he's the uh, guy Ant Man. Ant Man, yeah, Ant Man, hot garbage. I mean, yeah. uh, and Leo Norse Norse mythology. I think in the midst of your rant, I think you yeah, said you say Greek, but it was yeah, fine. So I'm sorry, you going you, I was honestly, you just, you you don't even remember having the conversation. The movie would have been good if it just had Gore actually killing gods instead of one at the beginning and also Zeus with the other gods were a joke. Fucking facts again. Gore the God Butcher, the fucking thing. First off, should have been a two-part movie. First off, should have been a two-part <laughs> movie. That's first of all. First of all, should have been a two-part movie. One where he kills the gods and where he takes out Thor and then two where Thor gets his lick back. Those are the fucking movies. I wrote it for you right there. Boom. There it is. <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, I'm going to freak out. <laughs> Johnny Fish says, holy shit, Leo. Ha ha ha. His jokes are flatter than Taylor Swift's chest. Yep. That's uh, AKA old, uh, old Navy sweater. Old Navy sweater. <laughs> These ladies and gentlemen, the beginning of Leo's villain are uh, podcast <laughs> flatter than her body. Stop. <laughs> she Gabe, sure Gabe, was. Gabe Blanchett was great in Ragnarok. She was fantastic. Ella? Yeah, she was fucking fantastic. The fact that they took her out in one thing is. Uh, May 1962, thank you. I knew it was either 1962 or 1964, but Thor's been written since before Taika Waititi was a thought in anybody's fucking brain, but no, but he's not popular at all. It's 2020 fucking three. I'm so what, he, he's the one that fed I'm your your, your broke ass. Put it that way. Fucking ridiculous. He's the one who oh, fed you. And by, Oh, I can only see how the set was <sighs> ran under his direction. It's probably a disaster. Give us Beta Ray Bill. Please. Max. Fucking hell. We saw the man on a fucking statue at the Grand Masters, but now all of a sudden, Beta Ray Bill's just not out there, right? Okay, cool. Thank you again, Taika Waititi. Really appreciate you. Really, awesome. really fucking No, it's all right, though. We got Hercules. Bro, I, I, I can't I can't rant about this guy anymore. Like I said, I hope... I, listen, I hope his grandma gets bullied at bingo. Like, literally. That's what the fuck <laughs> I hope. That's what I hope. Like, fuck this guy, bro. Not even like I hope. I hope she thinks she has a full board bingo and she couldn't hear the last number and she she messed it up. That's what I hope. But also the thing is, you have to realize is that you have to put it on Feige too. Of course, you, that's you, what you, I said. You, it's you partially Feige, bro. It, you you, you have let to. the it's, movie is produced by Marvel Studios. Guess who the fucking head of Marvel Studios is and let that shit go into theaters thinking people would go watch it and enjoy fucking goat screams in 2020 fucking two. Fuck, man. It, it, it doesn't, it, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. And, and Mr. Shikaka, when you don't get hired for a film and you say nobody would touch you, there you go. You That's did it to yourself. Fuck. You fucked up your own brand because like I said, you're in the business of having a brand. This is your brand. You are the brand. So what movie what movie company is going to hire somebody that's going to talk shit after the movie after you fuck it up? Uh, he's hilarious for thinking he's going to get work with Star Wars and shit like that. By the way, if Star yeah, Wars fucking is. hires him, yo, no, best listen. Of luck. Like if yo, that happens, Star Wars best of luck. Yo, Star Wars is real. stupid. He's already he was already doing stuff on The Mandalorian too. I guarantee you, Star Wars will hire him. I guarantee oh, you, God, bro. Guarantee. God bless you all. That's fucking the, awful. Disney thing, will man. never. Disney will never hire him again. I can guarantee. I can no, uh, If they wouldn't hire Ed Norton back, and he said less than this fucking prick said, facts. Not he's wrong. not coming back. He's not. There's no possible way. When DZ on the check in. <laughs> you drink blowing past. <laughs> uh, Shikaka sounds like the name of a tribe in Ace Ventura when nature calls. <laughs> that's that's what that's what he that's what we're going for. But also, ah, I got, I gotta really say, uh, Taika Y Shitty is kind of good too. <laughs> oh, this guy, man! I, I'm so done with him. I'm so glad that he's not yeah. on Thor Five. I I don't even know who they're gonna get to write it. But like, just put, Marvel. I have one plea. I apologize. I don't want to stay on this too long. Marvel, if anybody in Marvel hears this, anybody, just if you're gonna send off Chris Hemsworth, just fucking do it right. Just don't make him flipping pancakes I and screaming at goats. Just, just do it no. right. Just send Marvel, him off in the most Marvel, glorious way. Marvel, I have your best way right now. Come on, man. Make Thor the God Busher. Thor, make it over again. 
Make it again. Yeah. No, they won't do that. Dude, make it over again and make it a two part movie and actually shit on his movie. And then also, what you can do, Snyder cut, Kevin Feige's cut, okay, the Feige cut, the Feige I mean, like, cut. How Rag, how Ragnar, uh, how uh, Thor: Love and Thunder should have been. That's what I would name the movie just to fucking piss him off. I would yo. do. See, I'm fucking vengeful. I would do some shit like that. Just give me, not to give me. God. I uh, just I was gonna say, just give me the Thor that walked out on, on Infinity War you in just, the middle of the battlefield. Give me just, that Thor. Oh, you just stole what I was gonna. I was gonna oh remember, really? Remember? <laughs> rem well, I was just gonna be like, can we just fucking go back for a second and right. remember? Give me that remember Thor. The, remember the drop down and the yeah. fucking the act spinning. Bring, bring, me me that bring me that fucking guy back. Where's man. that Thor? Where's Where that he fucking go? guy? God damn it, man! I'm so upset. I, my give blood pressure is high. I'm so mad guy, right now. Give me, the, give me the guy that went for the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah that guy. Give me that guy. Yeah, fucking bullshit, man. By the way, Mike, Mike Reynolds, what's what happening, up, Mike? How what are you up, doing, bro? Man. Thank you for checking What up? What up? What up? <laughs> Zeus and uh, Zeus and a tutu played by a gladiator dude. <laughs> I fucking hate. Can we stop talking? About are you I'm not gonna, entertained? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> no. Gonna, no, 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 no. <laughs> Russell, Russell Crowe wasted. Fucking Christian Bale wasted. Fucking waste of fucking time and money. Joke. All right. They gave uh, him that cast. Imagine if they gave a good fucking director that cast, a good right. writer that cast. And wait, wait. I have an idea. Let's do um, Thor core, but make them kids. Oh, that was the best version of Thor. Guess who wrote it? The Russo brothers. Yeah, exactly. Dog shit. <laughs> We're not angry about this at all, by the way. I hate this guy so much, bro. If I ever saw him, it's on sight. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo. It's on sight. <laughs> you should fucking wear your costume and just throw the fucking hammer on his head. Swear. Just throw I the swear. fucking hammer at him. <laughs> yeah, oh, hold I, that I, bitch. I, I, <laughs> I have I, I probably have one or two good fights in me left in this body. One would definitely be for Taika with Didi. I'm I'm not even I, I fucking just, that's two just, fucker Chicago. Just, His name is just fucking scrap, Chicago. I would just I would just scrap his ass for no reason. Just because I wanted to. Oh god. All right, Wendell, Here we, we need are. a quick we need a quick synopsis on two things. What Mr. Chicago, what do you think? Man, he could suck a donkey's well, you know, and yeah. and, and let him go. Yeah, let him, let him go where he needs to be. Listen, he 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 he's a piece of crap, um, and I say that now, even though I have enjoyed other movies that he has made. Um, talking about, oh, good, I had a, a, a little segue on that one too. Talking about, you know, you did this for the money, like that's just trash. Like you're garbage, bro. Absolute garbage for saying that. Um, Aaron made a point. You said Christian Bale was wasted on this movie. Christian Bale doesn't like superhero movies. And so, with with with, with Chicago coming out saying what he said, I'm sure that's how he got Christian Bale to do this. I, I, I'm gonna wow. give you, I'm gonna give you the bag, bro. Because oh. the reason why he stopped doing Batman was because he was tired of it. Yeah. He was tired of doing Batman. He was tired of getting in out that costume. That's why you know he 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 wore a freaking tunic or you know a freaking toga okay. in this movie because he didn't want to. I didn't want to put on makeup. I want to go through all the aesthetics. No prosthetics. You could paint, yeah. you could paint on my face. Good. That's about it. So screw Christian Bale for that. And, and you know, because he helped ruin Gore along with Chicago. So as far as I'm concerned, boom. I don't want to wear prosthetics. I love I love um Ragnarok. And I've gone on, we've done you know tier list with that. And I said that was like the greatest comeback ever for a superhero. Um, but then you just totally shit the bed with the next one. And yeah. you know, so screw you. 